The joy of pregnancy can quickly turn to fear when multiple miscarriages happen, especially when those miscarriages have no explanation. But researchers discovered why a woman's blood sugar levels might be a factor. Ursula Perry explains. As many as one in four pregnancies end in a miscarriage each year, and it can be heartbreaking for women. I felt kind of alone, even though I know my husband was there with me and my family knew about it, but I felt alone because they weren't experiencing what I was experiencing. After three miscarriages, Devani sought help from Dr. Chalis at the IVF center. He does understand what it's like to be in her shoes. My wife and I went through 10 years of infertility, 10 years of struggle, of watching my patients cry during the day and my wife cry at night. And finally, we resolved by adopting our five children. Some miscarriages can be caused in part by hormonal problems, older age and poor lifestyle like obesity and smoking. But 50% are unexplained. Now, a study published in the journal Fertility and Sterility says that insulin resistance might be the culprit. What we're seeing is that in patients who have abnormal blood sugar control, as well as pre-diabetes, and another word for that is insulin resistance, that may be associated with miscarriage. High insulin levels are toxic to the placenta. Dr. Trellis says that women who have had a miscarriage should be screened for blood sugar control. And if that's abnormal, we get that more uh, normalized with medication. Along with medication, women can adjust their diet to increase their chance of having a healthy baby. Although it's been known that there's that link between insulin resistance and miscarriage, this study is the first one to help us understand that insulin can actually severely damage placenta cells. The good news is that women at risk can take a common diabetes medication, metformin. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.